cleaving anything's head off infrequently makes it more wonderful. There are some fine watching convertibles out there, however it is abnormal to discover one that is prettier than the roadster it depends on. The new Aston Martin DB11 Volante could be one of the prominent special cases, looking shocking from each one of the edges that the organization has shared through its first arrival of pictures and data. The choice to make a Volante rendition of the DB11 doesn't come as a stun. Aston has utilized the name as shorthand for its drop-top models since 1965. In any case, the choice to dispatch the DB11 Volante with the AMG sourced V8 motor, as opposed to Aston's own particular twin-turbocharged V12, makes the kind of mellow astonishment that would raise one of James Bond's eyebrows. The twin-turbocharged V8 is a fine motor and works especially well in the DB11 Roadster that we as of late drove. All things considered, it appears to be likely that a noteworthy number of the purchasers attracted to an Aston Martin convertible would likewise be the sort who try to expand their overabundance with the Bronier V12. However Aston said it has no plans to offer the greater motor in the Volante at any point in the near future. On the off chance that enough paying clients voice intrigue, in any case, plans have been known to change. As it may be, the V8 makes for a refreshingly uncomplicated single show lineup. The Volante's mechanical bundle is practically indistinguishable to that of the DB11 V8 car, with the same sighted power and torque crests for the twin-turbo 4.0-liter motor, which runs an Aston-created ECU 503 drive and 498 lbft, with the last accessible over a wideband from 2000 to 5000 rpm. Torque is coordinated to the back wheels through an 8-speed programmed gearbox, the same smart ZF sourced unit that has practically assumed control over the extravagance section. Suspension is by control arms in front and a multi-link setup at the back, and standard electrically versatile dampers offer GT, Sport and Sport N settings. The solid lines of the DB11S lower body are especially appropriate to the beheading, with the auto looking preferable proportioned with top down over the old DB9 Volante did. The power work texture rooftop now utilizes 8 layers of material to subdue clamor, and it is accessible in red, dark, or dim. Aston says all that's needed is 14 seconds to bring down the rooftop and 16 seconds to raise it, with this procedure conceivable while the auto is making a trip at speeds up to 31 miles per hour, regardless of whether heading straight forwardly into a headwind of a similar speed. It likewise can be worked from outside the auto utilizing the remote key coxcomb for most extreme road theater. Sturdiness testing for the new rooftop framework included putting models through more than 100,000 bringing and bringing down cycles up in uncommon climate chambers that were intended to reenact conditions on the planet's harshest surroundings, Aston said. Uplifting news for any Volante proprietors arranging a best down voyage through Alaska in the winter. The point was to pack the strain of a time of true use into a one-month trial. Despite the fact that not the roomiest auto in its portion, the Volante offers adequate common sense. Similarly as with the DB11 car, the small back seats are just sufficiently enormous to suit kids or those arranged to hazard profound vein thrombosis in return for the excite of riding in the back of an open-topped Aston. Be that as it may, the space increases conveying limit with regards to things that can't be crushed into the storage compartment. While Aston gloats the DB11 Volante's gear space is 20% greater than that of the open-top DB9, the old auto's 7 cubic foot trunk was one of the littlest in the section. On the off chance that things get excessively confined, 
Volante proprietors can simply send their gear ahead independently. Asserted weight investment funds additionally are more unassuming than those we have become used to between progressive ages nowadays. Aston claims the convertible DB11S body is 57 pounds lighter and 5% stiffer than that of the DB9 Volante. The guaranteed 4134 pound control weight is 254 pounds heftier than the expressed figure for the DB11 V8 car, with the Volante's 4753% front slash raise weight circulation likewise being two focuses behind the relatively ideal 4951sts for the hardtop variant. Execution has scarcely endured. Aston claims a 4.1 second 0 to 62 mph time, only a tenth of a moment behind the official number for the V8 Roadster and just two tenths behind the V12 DB11. In light of our current trial of the 12 chamber Roadster, we'd be astounded in the event that we didn't record a 0 to 60 mph time under 4 seconds when we get a Volante to the track. The guaranteed top speed of 187 miles per hour is indistinguishable to that of the V8 Roadster. With the principal client conveyances beginning next spring, the DB11 Volante will be valued beginning at $219,320, and assume that speaks to a sensible $17,500 upcharge over the comparable Roadster. For an auto as good looking as this one, it's a value we speculate an extensive level of DB11 purchasers in the United States will be set up to pay.